First into the tank is a cook who knows what it's like to face the heat in the kitchen. I've put everything on the line for this business. I've quit my corporate sales job. I've moved states to take advantage of an opportunity in South Australia. And I'd love a shark to get in with me at ground level, invest in me, my story, and who I am, and what my brand is. Hi, sharks. My name's Heather. I'm 34, and I'm very proud to be a South Australian small producer of Heyday Butter. Today, I'm seeking a $50,000 investment for the future expansion of Heyday. In return, 25% equity for the company. After seven years in corporate sales and marketing, I applied for and won a place on MasterChef 2016. Oh, you look familiar. Well, congratulations. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Growing up, food was always a big part of my life. I quit my corporate sales job to go on MasterChef. I've been pushed, I've been challenged and I'm so happy to have been a part of this life-changing experience. Now, back in my kitchen at home, I've created an artisan range of gourmet butters and the company name and brand is Heyday. I'd like to get this onto the shelves, but I need your help, Sharks. Like most people who work full-time, I get home from work, I open the fridge door, and I see some salmon, some baby potatoes, some broccolini, and I think, what am I going to make? What can I do to juz it up? Well, I've got some Heyday miso butter in the fridge, and it lasts around three months. Now, I can melt some of that through the baby potatoes. I can nappe it over the salmon for a beautiful umami flavour boost. What I have achieved when I've created this range of butters is that same MasterChef gourmet touch without the time and effort. It's perfect for home cooks, and I've taken this butter to markets. I've got great feedback and repeat customers. I've invested six months of my time building my brand. I've got food lands ready to stock, I've got distributor interest and a sales program ready. So, Sharks, could Heyday be your bread and butter? <laughs> oh, well done. Well done, Heather. Well done. Thank you. That's great. So, 25% for 50,000. So, you're valuing at around 200K. Great. And are you going to get us to taste some of this? I would love for you to try some of my butter. Okay. Bring it on. I'm cooking um, some mushrooms for you. So what butter are you using there, Heather? So I've got a rosemary and garlic butter. Beautiful which with is, mushrooms. It's beautiful with mushrooms. It's perfect for dinner parties and people that are looking for that luxe, delicious, on-trend flavours. So for example, I've got a brandy butter for Christmas. Wonderful. A chocolate butter for Valentine's Day. The cinnamon and currant butter is like instant fruit toast. The kids love it. Heather, I admit it, I'm a bit of a fan of MasterChef. But I want some goss. With the surprise judges, who did you go, oh my God, he's here, and who did you go, oh my God, it's him? Nigella. Oh, really? I think like she's, the, she's the epitome of a home cook. Oh, Nigella. Yeah. Nigella's fantastic. Oh, Steve is secretly <laughs> in love down there. Just leave him alone. She was just um, a lovely, lovely woman. Thinking mean chef, Nigella. Now, I don't want to overload oh, you. Yeah, yeah. But, um, oh, I'll overload. So closest to you is the coriander and horseradish. Holy shit. That's really good. Oh, man. That's good. Amazing. So you got into Foodland, congratulations. Thank you. How many supermarkets are you in? Are you going to be I'm in? going to be in um, six Foodlands. Then I've got two IGAs ready right now. Mm -hmm. um, then I've got Drake's Foodland. So that's right. 30 in, uh, sorry, 30 in South Australia, 20 in Queensland. So what if um, tomorrow uh, Woolworths and Coles says, I want you in 500 stores <laughs> right tomorrow? How uh, would you cope with that? I wouldn't. I'm, I'm okay. sticking with um, South Australia to start with. Why not? Because what we need to do is scale is really critical. Yes. But do you want it? I suppose that's the other thing. Yeah, question. I do want do it. Want it right. just seems so huge right now as a small artisan producer. Can you tell me what are you scared of? Um, I'm scared of getting too big too quick. At the moment, I can make 800 portions by myself a week. So you say 800 portions, what's a portion worth to you? I make it for $3.05. Um, it, it can go up to $3.90 depending on whether... And what do you sell it for, mate? Oh, sorry, um, $8.50. A re recommended retail price. So and what do you wholesale it for, please? The flavoured is $9.50, um, wholesale $6.90. So you're probably making around about, what, let's say $3.50 a tub on average? Yeah. Okay. So you can do 2700 bucks a week on 800 portions? Yeah. That, that is a business where you'll end up making hundreds of dollars. You know that, don't you? 
you fear anything beyond 800. Yet you've come here today looking for an investment and I promise you, no one here is interested in 800. No. So this fear, is that gonna stop you in growing your business? I don't think so, no. no I wouldn't be here if it was. You're not gonna buy us with 800 units. You're not gonna buy us with 3,800 units. You're not gonna buy our interest for that. Please give me a description for how big you want this business to be in, let's say, two years, three years' time. In three years' time, I wanna be making 3,800 portions a month. No, 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 but your capacity right now is 3,200 portions a month. Eight. 800 a week. Times by four. Yep, that's It's 3,200 a month. And now you're sort of saying, I want to grow that in three years by 600 units. Yeah. I call that gutless. And you don't come across as a gutless person. So we're not talking about impossible. What could be probable? With a 100 litre butter churner, I could be doing um, three to 600 portions a day. Great. Now we're 18, 18,000 portions a month. Like it, like and it. And so what if you had a churner in every state of Australia? <laughs> um, wow, I'd be pretty happy with that. <laughs> yeah. You've been a master chef, you clearly have a passion for food. Do you have a bunch of recipes in your head? Yes, I do. Could you be the brand rather than the butter? Yes, I think that that's definitely part of the brand is my supplying of recipes to my consumers. I think Heather Day is the brand, not the butter. And I'm wondering whether maybe the butter should just be one part of your business model. Right. And the business model shouldn't be you, the personality, the recipes in your head, and you sell product as a byproduct of all of that. Right. You believe you're good enough to be a big brand in yes. your own right? So you have enough creative recipes in your head and yep. passion. So I, I agree with you. And I think it's a question of really monetizing that business model, of which butter can be part but that's got much more scale to it. Right. So I'm struggling a little bit because as investors, we're trying to work out whether you have the vision as well as the action to take this to somewhere exciting for an investor. So, you know, the reality is I'm just not sure. So I'm out. Okay, thank you, Glenn. The product's great, so there's a big tick. Where I, where I get stuck is it's um, just too early. I'm out. Thanks, Denise. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted by you, and I think you're the brand. The butter is fine, but I think it's just going to be one chapter in your story. Frankly, it doesn't matter how much of that butter you'll sell, it's not a business in its own right, it's a product. Um, I wish you well. I'm going to spread the word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad someone got one in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I'm out. Thank you, Andrew. What I see is you're a fabulous artisan, like you absolutely know your craft. And what I think you've come to Shark Tank for is so that we can maintain who you are, your craft, your beauty, but you need someone to scale this business for you. Mm -hmm. Because right now, because you can't see how that's gonna happen beyond 800 tucks, you're selling yourself down. Mm -hmm. If you were the designer, the head designer, the head chef, and you had an infrastructure sitting underneath you, what could be possible? I don't know, being in one in 10 households in Australia in the next three to five years. So I'm gonna make you an offer. It's gonna be a lot of work. Yep, I'm ready. You're almost pre-revenue, but you've got lots of great intellectual property. So for that reason, I'm offering you $50,000 for 33% of your business. Okay. That's not a bad deal. Except it comes from Naomi. So there's an issue there. <laughs> um, if you are the face of this brand, you can't be left without the equity. Um, you're going to need more cash in the future because if you are talking about building a brand, it needs more than 50k. Holy dude, it needs a lot of money. So there's going to be some cash pulled back into this business. I'll give you what you've asked for. Um, 50k for 25%. Um, but I'll be looking for a repayment of half of that as a royalty mm -hmm. at 50 cents a portion. 
So how so can you say? When, how can you say you need the cash and then whip it straight out before she's even got going? It's crazy. Well, she's left with the equity. Steve, when would you need? She's left with the equity. You put giving her money then taking it back. Why would you do that to an industry that needs to be Make an offer. Make an offer. Make an offer. So if you offer some cat food, you ask Glenn. I'm giving you some business advice, Heather. That's a crazy offer. You know you need cash to scale. He said, I'll put the money in, then I'll take it back. <laughs> it's an interesting offer. South Australian businesses, beautiful butter, great product. You've got a offer from Naomi of $50,000 for 33%. And you've got an offer for Steve for $50,000 for 25%. So 25,000 will be repaid at a 50 cents per item sold. I didn't expect to get an offer from Steve of, of all the sharks. You could be everything that, that, that the, the rest of the sharks have spoken about. That, that's many years off. You're going to leverage one product to get there. Um, people are going to know you for something before you get into other things. Mm -hmm. So uh, hence why I think leaving you with more uh, equity makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. The royalty, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a bit of cash away, but you know, I've given you a, a better equity position. What was your equity? Uh, it was 25%, it's what, it's what you asked for. See, Heather, I've built consumer brands. He hasn't. Pick me. It's an easy choice. <laughs> I'd love to take your deal, Naomi. Yeah. Oh, wonderful! What's that about? Thank you. That's so a good much. choice. We are going to have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, that's so cool. Congratulations, that's, it's so cool. I'm so happy. Bye, Heather. Thanks, Heather. See you. Take Bye. care, well done. Oh, I'm so excited, she's a delight. Make her a brand. Absolutely. This is good. This is really good. Oh, it's butter, it's really good. I think I've just filled my stomach up. I know, go and eat all my profits, there you go. They not only loved the butter, but they loved you, you as a brand. That Such must a... make you feel so, so special. It does, it's a real confidence boost and it really um, makes me excited about moving forward, especially with Naomi, who's, um, you know, I've been got such a girl crush on her. Um, to have her as a mentor has, is going to be unbelievable.